Hello everybody, welcome back to Bella's Big Adventures. My name's Sue and today, as you can see by the sign behind me, we are back at the Motorhome and Caravan Show 2024. Right, I'm a BMLT 780. This is a 4430 kilogram van. I've covered quite a lot of the Hymers to be fair from Southdown Motorhome, so if you haven't seen those, you can check them out on my channel. Bella's Big Adventures. One thing Timer does scream is quality. This is really lovely. British layout with the cooker. Nice little galley area. And then we've got the fridge and freezer. Pop up TV, shower cubicle, glass doors. German layout bed, twins that convert into a double, very nice. And we've got the ensuite area that closes off. So there's no light on in here, but very nice, very nice. The 780 is lovely. And I have done a full review of that online. So if you want to have a look at that, go check that one out. And this is the MLT 570 crossover. Nice new graphics on this one. Somebody's in there. Nice big garage on these ones though, because it's a small motorhome rather than a camper van. And you've got your spare wheel on the back. Right, let's go and have a look at the Likers. Hmm, that looks like it's got a new front. Interesting. New lighting system. And new grill design, I think. Prius H5109. Let's have a look at her. I looked at a tag axle the first year I came, which was really lovely inside. So this one on the road is base price 164,400. The finish on these is beautiful. Really luxurious looking lovely big kitchen the quality of the materials it does look amazing I've never driven one so I can't tell you what they're like exactly but you've got all your controls over the door lovely big mirror to bounce the light around beautiful smooth soft touch got a microwave you've got your usual Dometic fridge freezer a nice kitchen area to be honest you've got a lovely big fridge a uh, sink, sorry, I mean, it's not in gear yet. Sort of Corian type work surfaces and drainer area. Maybe a big swivel tap. Somewhere to put your coffee pods. It's got a Thetford Triple X oven. Pull out drawers and hidden drawers inside. Cut Louis drawers and a pull out area for jars and bottles and then you've got the twin bed layout which converts steps up turns into an ensuite beautiful big mirrors around I do like the Leica styling I have to say and it, I, think, I don't remember this colour being here last time so I think it's a new colourway Toilet, storage under, sink, cabinets, I assume, oh they've got catches, there we go, very nice, you've got some hooks for your towels, lovely big bed area, I don't know whether that has an infill or not, or whether it's just twins, but you've got storage all around, but the headspace between the head and the lights looks quite high, so you probably could sit up in bed. You've got a lovely big pop out here, which you could store all sorts of things in. Floor to ceiling, storage there. Glass fronted shower, which, how do I get in? Out the pool. And there we go, you've got a rain shower head and a small shower head. Very nice, very nice indeed. And it can be sectioned off. Got a lovely big bench area with dining area, big windows, 
A-class, obviously. This one's on a Fiat. Lovely big squishy sofas. I think this is where the television lives. I'm not sure. Oh no, it's storage down that one. But there are curtains, blinds, cupboards over. Catches. I keep forgetting there's catches on these ones. Oh, at the top. There we go. Oh, nice big hinges up and outwards. And there is a drop down bed in this one. Big skylight over, lots of storage space. Yes, it's a really, really nice van. This the garage door is a lifty up and out, which I suppose you get used to. Nice big garage though. See all power and supplies. Batteries, you've got some shelving at the back there. Sorry, it's a bit dark. They haven't got a light in there, I don't think. Not that I can see anyway. Tie downs for some bikes. So that's the Leica Krios H5109 and the Cosmo H1409 A class. This one is retailing at base price of 89700 mm, Nice folding table. So you can get it out of the way if you need to. Gosh, this, the headroom in here is amazing. I know I've just gone from a camper van to a motorhome, but it seems really high above your head. Um, nice pull-down bed over the A-Class cab. This one, again, is on the Fiat. You've got some storage cupboards above there. I do like this soft-touch finish material on the walls. Very nice. Big, long fridge with freezer compartment and there are solar controls apparently in the top here we've also got some controls here I don't know how you get into it I'm afraid shelf above the door nice little side seat so you can put your shoes on and join in with the table I'm assuming it swivels out and obviously the captain's chair swivel there's a little storage space down there for some shoes and things and another one down here all these little pockets of things are very useful. We've got USB, USC, and TV aerial points, so you can put your TV on there. Storage under. Kitchen area. Small Thetford du duplex oven. It's slightly compact, I would say, but it's a small van. But it feels spacious in terms of your head height. But you have got a three burner hob, that's great. Um, and a lovely big sink sockets over, big cupboard over. We have got a step up, it's not a raised floor, uh, into the bedroom. Again the twin area. Looks like this pulls out so you can have a big double with an infill cushion. Big massive cupboard over the bed there with little shelves either side. Might need a few um, stretchy bands to hold things from falling. And Another big cupboard at the bottom of the bed where you're not really going to be knocking your head on it. Curtains to screen you off. Door to make an ensuite, which is nice. And then you've got your storage under the sink, your toilet, your cabinet, soap dispenser, lovely sink and tap. Massive big mirror. Shame it's reflecting me in it, eh? <laughs> but it could be you if you're in the market for such a, a van. And then we've got a good size shower, I'd say. It's not, it's not massive, but it's not tiny either. It's not the smallest. It's got a towel rail over. Nice style. Duckboard in the bottom there. And frosted glass windows. Actually, plastic, I think, not glass. Um, but yes, what have we got underneath here? Anything unusual? Oh, find out. Oh, bin underneath. Storage. I'm assuming that slides out, let's see. Yeah, I think that pulls out, but I don't want to force it in case I break something. Okay. So that's the Cosmo H1409. It does have a garage. Let's have a quick look in the garage. Your usual lockers. Oh, 
there is a light in there. That is quite a big garage. It goes up higher than the door is, if that makes sense. It goes up quite a way here. There's a light on the other side. Plenty of storage. If you're in the market for a motorhome, you could do a whole lot worse than come to the show because there's every make and model you could possibly imagine. The Bursner Campio TD676. This is new, apparently. Again, the new front grille. Smart all round it, it's quite compact. Usual Bursner graphics, little garage in the back there. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, through garage. Storage for your thing. Seems to be a mattress in here. And access from the inside. That's interesting. <coughs> I think this actually might be a bedroom. Because I think that drops down and there's an actual window in the back here. So let's go and have a closer look at this, eh? So this one, yeah, it is. It's a, a, a bed in the, in, the, in the garage, for all intents and purposes. So if you've got one child. And what seems to be a drop-down bed. So you've got a nice wide door with the bin on. Let's have a look inside. Gosh, that's a big, comfy-looking sofa. Um, yeah, big dinette area. That's that's good size. That is, you could get comfortably four people around it. But they look bigger the seats in Bursners. I don't know if that's just in my imagination. Maybe it's the fabric choice. But this again is on the Fiat. You've got a big skylight above. I'll show you from here. So that is bunk beds, actually. That is what that is. So if you've got two children, that's pretty amazing. So that would flap down. You'd have some storage underneath the bed still. You've got privacy curtains. So if you've got two teenagers that don't like to be together. And yeah, you've got bunk beds in this one. So window, so they're not in the dark. Good size bed, that. And as I say, that one pushes down to make a second bunk. And there is some stairs. They've covered them up just to stop people in the show climbing on them. This is your kitchen area. Two burner hob. Next to that, we've got the big tall fridge freezer. Drawers under. No oven in this one, obviously. It's quite compact. I've got a big dining area though. And you can cook a lot of things on a hob, to be fair. This is the self contained shower room, so you've got the bench seat toilet with the shower floor with two drain holes. Sink, it looks like it's another swing across. Yes, it is. That swings out of your way to make quite a nice size shower cubicle. Yeah, that's good. Like that. Obviously the tap's multi-purpose. Then you've got your cabinet for storing things. Shower curtain that can go around on a rail and a skylight over. So that's really nice. Yeah, this one has drop-down bed as well. So two adults on the drop-down, two kids in the bunk beds. I'm not sure whether this converts as well, but it's quite a big sofa. Right, I am now along to the Ad Bailey Adamo, which is very popular and is on based on the Ford now. The Adamo was new last year, I think, or maybe the year before. I lose track. But this is the 2025 model, £77,999. There is someone in there at the minute, so it's the 694. As you can see, it's got a nice big window. It's on a standard license, not a C1. So you'd have to be careful of your payload. Don't want to be getting over overweight. Oh, you can actually slide access from the inside into your garage. That's always quite nice if you need to get something in the night time. There's a shorter door on this side and a tall door on the other side. Space to put a couple of bikes on the back, so you're using up your garage space. And to lift it from there, a lot of things you have support. Oh, so you've got a lovely big lounge area. The table and the bed drop down, but as you can see, lovely big spacious area here. Lots of room to get around the table and everything. It is on the Ford. Lovely big kitchen surface as well, really deep. That's really nice. 
cooker. Storage under. That one's short. I don't know if that one is too. And that one goes back. There must be something like a gas tank behind that, I think. But these cupboards above. I don't know if those have got a catch. There we go. Oh, outward opening. That's good for a change. And you can comfortably reach into the mind. I am quite tall. So. And on this side, we've got the Fetford fridge freezer. And we've got some pull outs down here. Oh no, little storage area, possibly for the table storage. Big bathroom area. Back rear bathroom with shower. Lovely shower cabinet. That is nice and spacious. It's obviously a two person van, I think. I'm not sure whether the sofas underneath convert. And in the back here, wow, over the garage area. You have got a massive wardrobe space and space for a, a ladder. But as the chap was just telling us, you don't. It comes down quite low the beds. Yes, that's the Bailey Adamo 694. So that's good. So actually, yes, you can sleep on these children. And it's got the drop-down bed that comes down over the whole area here. But if you want to you can bring it all the way down so if you're not very agile you can get on it from standing up rather than using the ladder so there we go that's the Adamo not too long either and yes that cupboard was short because of the gas bottle on the outside new model on the Volkswagen chassis there we go so that looks like it it's certainly a smaller mo uh, van and it's a new model so if I can get in the queue I will go and look at that. Compact Max DL and this one retails from £94,695. This is quite nice actually. Storage under the bed. And then you've got your wardrobe underneath here and your fridge above. Twin bed, storage over. Yes, this is nice. Nice, nice and light and bright. Big sunroof over. Lots of cupboard storage. What do you do? A good van. Right, as you can see here, this is the Florette Elister that I was looking for before. It's on the Mercedes. Ah, now then, let's see. Yeah. As you can see, it has the added skylight above there. Let's have a look inside because this is a world premiere. Oh wow. The quality screams at you, I have to say. Beautiful kitchen, beautiful leather seating area. On the Mercedes cab, oven, fridge. This is the island bed version. Very nice, very nice indeed. This is something I would like to do a full review of. Let's have a look at the bathroom. We've got a, an ensuite bathroom area. Whoops, usual cupboard. Lovely little oval sink with storage underneath. And we've got, obviously, with it being an island bed, we've got the shower cubicle in the bedroom, in effect. But slides out the way so we can see the shower it's over the wheel arch over the wheel arch but nice spacious shower with skylight over and a rail yeah wardrobe each side of the bed plenty of room to sit up in this one eh that looks really nice table storage on the door of the van and you've got 
nice garage and it's retailing at 109,990 pounds. Right, right. Has so anybody got a question? We've got the inspiration theatre behind me. Nice graphics. It's got the <laughs> the Mercedes badge on it, the little symbol on the pattern. So this is the Florette Elister on the Mercedes. Some storage lockers, your usual hookup and water. Semi integrated. Now, then, if you are self converting, something like this the sky up pop up roof, which is a solid roof top, might be up your street. Perfect for self converters, eh? This one in action. Flexible solar panel on the top. The almost now infamous My Rider folding bikes, electric bikes. They are very cute. Look how small it folds up. Oh, we've got a Yeti spot here. Ooh, I might be actually be tempted to buy myself a new hot mug. Oh, maybe even in orange. What do you think? <laughs> Let's have a look at the mugs and cups. Oh, look at this. A full dog crate. Now, if you're travelling with your dog in your boot, that is amazing. Let's have a closer look at that. My dogs wouldn't fit in this one because it's quite small, but that looks very sturdily built. Obviously, they're chained in so they can't rattle around. That is good. It sits on the table. Mm, gosh, that's a nice big space. This is the Hexaway Pro Air inflatable. I do find the inflatable ones really useful. Ooh, trailer tents. Opus always do amazing trailer tents. Because you can have bedrooms in them and lounges in them. Let's have a look one that's built up. They are phenomenal. Let's pull out the kitchen area. And there's a bedroom in each side. It's like self inflating campers starting at 21,995. So if you're not into motorhomes or camper vans, there are tents <laughs> and there are trailer tents. Proud winner of the King's Award for Enterprise. <laughs> Sorry. Nah, you're all right. So you can get all your gadgets, your tables, your chairs. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not hit that subscribe button and ding that bell for future notifications so that you don't miss any of Bella's big adventures.